Indie Mogul. This week on Indie News, how to produce a documentary. With an update on my Sriracha film, YouTube celebrates a birthday, David Cross pays us a visit, and Legos recreate James Bond. Hey Indie Mogulers, Griffin here. Next week, I'll be in Los Angeles shooting several key elements of my documentary about Sriracha, the delicious hot sauce. And many of you wanted to know what goes into producing a documentary, so let's talk about that. But first, I want to thank the over 1,000 people who've liked the film on Facebook. It's great knowing that there's an audience for the film while I'm shooting it. So grab a pen. Here is a step-by-step -step list for producing a documentary. Go to a film festival, realize, hey, I should make a film. Listen when successful filmmakers say you should make the film that you want to see. Drive home thinking about how much you love short documentaries. What are you passionate about? Realize it's right in front of you on every meal you eat. Make a website, Facebook page, Twitter, Pinterest, business cards to get people hyped. But also so everyone knows that you've laid claim to this film. And then write it. But what does that even mean? How do you write a documentary. For me, it started with a lot of questions like, is this topic even doable? Who are the key players here? And then I realized there was one guy I really needed to talk to. Randy Clemens, author of the Sriracha Cookbook. He's really active online and has become an expert on Sriracha. I figured he could answer a lot of my questions. So I sent him a few messages, we had a phone call, and I learned several important things. One, he's super excited about being in the documentary, that's helpful. Two, he's not aware of anyone else who's already making a documentary about Sriracha, that's good. And three, he already has contact information for a lot of the people that I need in the film, so that's really helpful. My goal is to share with audiences the origin of this hot sauce, and that really starts with facts and research. Several articles have been written in the last few months that provide a glimpse into David Tran, the man who founded Hoi Fong Foods. This is the Los Angeles company that produces this popular brand of sriracha. So I've been collecting facts from these articles, organizing them, and creating a contact list of people who should be in the movie. A big part of filmmaking is just getting access. I've been sending a lot of emails. Some people I just am trying to get information from. Other people I'd love to get for an on-camera interview. And of course, not everyone wants to be on camera, so it takes some convincing. I'll usually just explain how I genuinely love Sriracha, and that's why I'm making this movie. I'm not making it because I'm trying to make money or exploit anyone. I just want to make a good story and share it with film festival audiences. So after contacting Hoi Fang Foods, also the farm where they grow these red jalapenos, I've talked to chefs and other interesting characters. Now I have kind of a shooting schedule for when I go out to LA. I'm trying to shoot most of this movie in just one trip, which means that I need to plan. Even though this is a documentary, I really have to script it in advance. There's a lot of different stories that I want to cover, and at first I thought, there is no way I can fit all of this into a 24-minute short film. But then I thought about feature news stories on TV, how you can tell a comprehensive story in about three minutes with lots of facts. So then I realized I have eight of these, eight three-minute stories I can tell in 24 minutes. So I've kind of broken down my script into a series of stories or themes that I'm trying to share. And even though it's a documentary, it's non-fiction, it's still a story. So I can map out all of the dramatic elements. I have a protagonist, David Tran, who came to this country with a desire to produce fresh, spicy, delicious sauce. So he embarked on a challenging journey hitting the streets of Chinatown, trying to find a market for his product. And what he found is that surprisingly, the market for his product is a lot broader than just the Asian community. So I can shape my script around that narrative model. And in a documentary, the filmmaker and audience also have a desire to discover the truth. So they embark on a journey which can be challenging. So there's multiple ways to build a documentary around the dramatic model. Obviously, when I interview people, I'll learn new things that were not in my script, but should be. 
So it's a recursive process. I'll write a script and then shoot something and then rewrite the script. But that initial script gives me a checklist of everything I need to go capture. It also lets me know what kinds of questions I need to ask to get the answers that line up with the plot of the film. A documentary is made up of interviews which tell the story, lots of B-roll, you need interesting visuals that can cover up the talking heads, and also what are called Nat sound breaks, simply an event unfolding on camera. So those are the three kind of elements that I need to make sure I'm capturing when I'm in LA. So let me know in the comments what other questions you have about this production. I'll answer several of the obvious ones. I've already shot some of this documentary locally in Illinois, but of course most of this story is in California. When I'm out there, uh, I'm going to be joined with my friend Nick. He and I are going to be the crew for this film. We're shooting it on my Panasonic GH3, and I'm hoping to have this done by September. That's around the deadline for a lot of uh, film festivals for next year. So I need to get it done this summer if I want to get it shown in next year's festivals. Also, if you want to help me out, there's some things that I need in this film that maybe you uh, know about. If you know any stories, people have good sriracha stories, let me know. I have an email right here, uh, srirachafilm at gmail.com. You can let me know. Also, let me know if you have any sriracha music you're aware of or art that you or other people you know have created. I, I want to put those things in the film. Also, I plan on doing several visual effects, interesting artistic visuals for the film. You know, I can imagine maybe doing some stop motion of this bottle, uh, maybe some visual effects to like turn this into a rocket or something, uh, you know, spinning through the air. Uh, I'll probably spray some sriracha onto a piece of glass with a green screen underneath it. I can imagine using those as title elements or transitions, all sorts of cool things I could do visually with Sriracha. But those are just my ideas. If you have anything that you want to do, I would love to feature other talented people's contributions in the film. So if you can come up with any cool filmmaking thing to do with a bottle of Sriracha, go for it. And if it's great, I will put it in the movie. Before I go, I want to give a shout out to YouTube, which just celebrated its eighth birthday on Sunday. That means this fall it's going to go into the third grade. There's a new sheriff in town. Is that David Cross sneaking into my video? Actually, it's Tobias Funke from Arrested Development. New episodes are coming to Netflix this Sunday, which explains Dr. Funke's new acting reel which is first on today's playlist. He also encourages you to download the original green screen footage from insertmeanywhere.biz. Today, more than 100 hours of video are uploaded every minute to YouTube. And this last week, there's a few minutes of YouTube that I particularly enjoyed. It's a recreation, shot by shot, of the opening scene of Casino Royale, the James Bond movie, but it's done entirely with Lego stop motion. So you gotta check that out. I also have this week's new and notable video contests. Thanks for watching and be sure to join me next Monday when even though I'll be in LA, I'm gonna show you how to build a portable DIY recording booth for absorbing echo and capturing clean, professional sounding vocal tracks. More clean and professional than that.